What is going on guys? Cowboy here and we're back ready to continue on. You may notice we are back to the butcher knife. Um, so up ahead we actually have a mini boss and... Oh, yeah, I, never mind. I thought I was going the wrong way for a second. Um, but I actually went and I, I initially tried to tackle him using the greatsword. Being as our character's name is Guts, I wanted to, uh, to pull this baby out. Um, but even on par with the great machete, it's actually weaker. So, I ended up trying it out against the mini-boss anyway, just to see how things went, and uh, mini-boss took me down without much difficulty. In a similar fashion, um, went back, actually started this episode, and went after the mini-boss using the Great Machete, which has been working out well until now. And uh, once again, I was taken out. So, with that in mind, we are going to go back to using our Butcher Knife. Um, and I mean, the honestly, the problem with Ultra Great Swords is until they are upgraded to the point where they're very, very strong, um, like maximum upgrades, and you have the 50 strength and that super high scaling, you just don't really have the damage you need on Because one of the biggest strengths of the Ultra Great Swords is the stagger potential of it. And um, just right now, I don't have the stagger potential or the stats to really support it. Whereas the uh, Butcher Knife, you can see, we're able to get just attacks in over and over again and still dodge with ease. That's not the case using the Ultra Great Sword. Oh man, that was a good block. Um, now we are going to be coming up on a... Uh, what are you doing? Ooh. Um, we are going to be getting an Ultra Great Sword relatively soon that will have the damage and the stagger potential we need to to have it as a uh, just, you know, this is a beastly weapon that takes out everything. But until we reach that, I think we're just going to stick with our knife. What? Get out of here. Silly skeleton. Um, so that soul of the demon right there, that's actually what we use to get either the great axe or the demon fists. I'll probably pick up the great axe because I haven't on a, you know my first playthrough I did end up getting it and I think it looks like it'd be a pretty badass weapon uh, anyway over here hit this chest it is a mimic and um, we get a katana from it so I'm sure a lot of you are been wondering when can I finally get a new katana especially if you've been using the Uchi all this time ow mimic that was very rude <laughs> Stop being creepy. Just die. And there's the Black Blade. I'm sure a couple of you are curious. As you can see, 1818. 18. Um, very similar to before. Has a, a moveset close to what it was in uh, Dark Souls 2. It's shorter than the Uchi. But anyway, I'm continuing on from here. Got quite a few items we're going to be picking up. Um, let's see. Black Blade Skelly Room. So there's a large Titanite and a large Soul down here. Uh, this room is just filled with skeletons. So just for shits and giggles, let's pull it on out. Just because we're fighting a room full of skeletons, it'll be a good time to do the weapon art with this thing. I really want them to all group together. So as you guys can kind of see, you know, we get like basically two attacks and that's all of our stamina. Now given our stamina isn't um, at the cap that we were working it towards, you know, it's just, it's a very slow weapon, you know, like, and even there, I didn't have enough poise to get off that weapon art, um, that one attempt, so. And that's the thing, if you're going to use an ultra great sword, you need it to do enough damage to where... When you hit, stuff is going to die in like the one or two swings that you're able to get out. And right now, it's just not the case, sadly. So that's kind of enough fucking around with the Ultra Great Sword, I think. Uh, we'll finish clearing this room out, get back to our butcher knife, and just take these guys down real fast.
Actually, you know what? They're just going to keep coming. So we're going to save some time and just go. No point wasting all the time with them. Um, and we do have quite a few pieces of loot coming up that we're going to want to snatch. The Old Sage's Blindfold and Witch's Ring for one. Uh, Witch's Ring, really good for pyromancy builds. It's similar to the Swamp Ring, but it boosts your pyromancies even further. On top of that, you can actually use both of them. Um, and then from there, we'll head on down this way, and we have ourselves a bonfire. Rude! Man. This one. Okay. So we're going to head on down this way. So there's quite a few pieces of loot. You know, you're seeing it just floating around. Don't worry about all that. We're going to get it all later. It is large titanite. There is a very large ballista. And you can kind of hear it firing at us. Um, and we're going to go through this whole area to reach that ballista. You can see it up there. Kind of the center of my screen. There it is turning. Um, this thing can hurt a lot. So it's just going to keep firing at you. Um, this is the skeleton worm. Once again, we're just going to run past this as well. Um, because we can make our way through this area to turn off the ballista. And that's what we're going to try and do. We want to get that ballista off before we bother messing with any of the stuff here, including the worm. Oh, God. The damage I already took. That was the ballista flying in. So, Needless to say, trying to fight anything in this area while that thing is firing at you is no fun. That's also why we're completely skipping that loop for now. Um, right here, we're out of the range of the ballista, though, so we will grab this. we got a bonfire right here. Excuse me, Amber. Our large Titanite. Wait a minute. Uh, da, 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 da. Large Titanite, bonfire, into room, and Ember on the left. Okay, so we do have an Ember, just not right there. Ember should be... Right... Oh, maybe Ember's down there. I know it's... I don't know. I haven't known that there's an Ember nearby, so anyway. Hit the bonfire. Rest up. We're going to go take down this the boss for this area now. Um, just to get him out of the way. Get some souls. And then the worm and all that stuff, we'll take that out later. So, I had a note about there being an ember. I don't think that's it. What did I write down? So run past the tremors worm, large tight night, and bonfire into room for ember on the left. Well, we'll find that as we make progress. But we're going to go tackle this boss first, actually. Um, now, I was going to go through this whole area, but I think it'll be a little bit easier just getting the boss down. Uh, there is a summon right here. I'll bring her in. I don't feel like she did much last time. Uh, she's a pyromancer, and, you know, we're going against a fire boss, which is... Goddamn Ballista. But yeah, we're going against the fire boss, which is kind of silly. Um, but we'll bring her on in. You know, he'll chill for a second. We're going to wait. Oh, looks like the Great Swamp Cuckolus is also getting hit. Come on. Are you going to bug out and not get through the fog? That's weird. This happened on the Dex playthrough as well. She got stuck and unable to come through the fog, which is very odd. Uh, maybe I she has to wait until I start the boss. Anyway, let's go. a demon killing kind of episode. Oh, there we go. Yeah, she's in now. Um, so we also have on the 100% physical and then very high fire resist shield that'll help you out a lot during this fight. This guy is all about fire. Ugh, I gotta get out from underneath your legs. Um, a couple things you're gonna want to look out for here. He can do uh, rings of fire, he can do meteors, he can do the lava spew, which you're seeing right there. So, quite a few things that can be very damaging coming out of this guy. Um, in general, his mace attacks aren't too bad. Um, you can avoid those with uh, just a little bit of ease. And a lot of people keep thinking you can cut off his tail for loot. I don't think you can, otherwise I'm pretty sure I would have been able to. 
Uh, he also does combustion, which you saw right there. If you get nice and close up on him. We're going to actually go a little bit heavier, just because I can only get in very few attacks here um, before I got to withdraw. Ow! Old Demon King, chill the fuck out. God, the dex build was tearing him apart. Not so much this time, though. He is poisoned. Right, we gotta... No, we're fighting this slightly wrong, though. Let's go back here. We'll heal up. Um, here are the meteors he casts. Just kind of avoid them. We can run away. Alright, when he's pounding his staff down, he's making his fire ring. Alright, this is the meteor animation. When he's doing that. Just get in and do as much damage as you can. Before rolling out, making sure those don't hit. No great swamp cuckless, you're down. Looks like it's up to me. Yeah, this was so easy with the katana. I was able to attack so fast and then adding in the bonus damage. Um, from having Dark Weapon just annihilated it. I'm staggered, but I can't get in for the hit! Oh my god. Wow. What a shit way to go down. I had the boss staggered and could not connect with him to get the, uh, the riposte to finish him off because I was stuck in his club. So I gotta be honest, this boss has proven to be a bit more difficult than I thought he would. I've made a couple attempts against him, ended up switching up to the, the butcher knife for a little bit more speed after the, the first attempt, and he ended up um, just taking that out without much trouble. Um, so I think part of it is because I decided to be a smart ass and say we're just gonna kill the boss first, and me and my summon keep getting freaking hit by that goddamn thing before the boss fight even starts. No, you do not. Not today. Man, my souls are way out there. this guy with the uh, regulation patch, which is strange because PC is 1.01, .01, and I took him down without much trouble on PC, and then uh, the dex build took him out without much trouble as well. It's like a pathing issue though, I like, can't get through him like I normally can. like he's doing his lava breath a lot more than he was in uh, other attempts. Like, well not other attempts, but on other characters. Which is just odd, to be honest. I keep getting stuck on him like this. Firing. Roll through that easily enough. And of course, he had to send it back out. And ouch. And now he's going to do the meteors.
he's still going to go down, but he's just being a lot more resilient to the machete than he was to a katana. Oh man. There we go, he's vulnerable. Let's finish him off, Cuckalus. Just in case he tries to do that explosion thing. Nope, not this time. Alright. Soul of the old Demon King is obtained. Thank you, Cuckalus. We'll head on back, spend these souls. I have to get my vitality up a little bit more as we are about to obtain the Fugs. For those curious, Fugs is the Fume Ultra Greatsword. Probably the best strength weapon in the game. And that's, I think, one of the problems now is, you know, the regular Greatsword just doesn't have the damage to compete with Fugs. Um... And I really need that benefit of buffing a weapon, which you can't buff with Fugs, but the thing is, Fugs has such immense damage to begin with, it doesn't matter if it's buffed at all. It still just demolishes everything. So let's also run by and pick up some new goodies. So we already used uh, Wolnir's Soul. Uh, we ended up picking up the... where is his greatsword? Here we go, Wolliner's Holy Sword. The alternative to that was Black Serpent. I uh, used it on the Let's Play, didn't find it all that good, but we are going to be picking up the Demon's Great Axe, and that's from the first demon we killed, and then the Old King's Great Hammer, which also should be pretty badass. Um, that said, the other choices here are Chaos Bed Vestiges, very nice pyromancy, but this is a strength build, so if there's any time to use it, it would be here or uh, Demon's Fist, which are actually pretty cool. It allows you to do kind of a fiery whirlwind effect, so I definitely need to get the uh, 12 and 12. I think this could actually be pretty awesome. Briefly cause flame within to flare up and smash upon the earth. So I won't actually be able to uh, to see the effect of this. So wait, 14.5? It's pretty late, and it looks badass. So it would do that, but with flame. What's this one have? Molten Perseverance. Uh, the temporarily boost poison. Use strong attack to repeatedly stab the earth to trigger molten explosions. So that would probably be a lot better, but I need to have the stats to actually support it, of course. Alright, so we have a ton of souls to spend. We're going to spend those real quick. And then we're going to actually start going through the area itself. Uh, so get that up a little... Oh, come on. Need, what, like 250? Yeah. Hang on, we're going to get these extra souls real fast. Passion one. Well, very well. Then take... God, Fugs. I can't wait to have Fugs. I won't use anything else once I get Fugs. Like, that's it. Every other weapon just, just kind of, uh... Falls off, sadly. Alright. Nope. Ah, damn. And then I selected the wrong bonfire. Alright. So uh, this is the bonfire just before the boss. Um, if we run out there, that leads to the boss. And we're going to go through this area, um, make it to the next bonfire within here, and then that's probably where we'll wrap up this episode. So uh, the enemies here can be kind of a pain in the ass. The fire shield is going to come in real handy. What's interesting about these guys is that they take these orbs that you see and they raise them up into the sky and when they raise the orb the orb will independently fire completely on its own until you kill the enemy so we got that one down got his ember um let's see hallway at the left kill this guy Coming on. 
One at a time now, lads. Man, that is some very far-reaching poison mist. Oh, ridiculously so. That's toxic mist, actually. Ooh, grew rot shield. Very nice. So that is a drop item that does not typically just show up. Um, let's heal up real fast. So let's see. Down the hallway at the left. Remember with the trap slime and fire statue. Oh, that's right. So we gotta go past these guys. Oh, come here, sir. 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 That is very rude. Please die. Alright, now downstairs is a whole nother area. Um, we're not going to go downstairs at all right now. We're going to save that for an upcoming episode. Uh, we're just going to take care of the upper path right now since we already knocked out the boss. This is the one that likes to jump all over. There's his friend. There will be no jumping today, sir. And we're going to grab... Now, all right, this is actually a trap. You can see the lava thing kind of right there. So bait that out. There's also fire statues here, which are kind of annoying. Um, as you can see, fire statue breathes fire. Now we have this jump. Now that is an Estus Shard, but this jump is very, very difficult. So um, you're going to want to jump at the very last second. I fell down this thing probably four plus times on stream. Ugh. And there you can see, did not make it. So that's kind of good because now I can show you what to do here. If you fall down, uh, run through there. Go past the uh, kind of dog guys, we'll call them here. Make a turn. And you can see our fire orb guy up ahead. Run right up these stairs. That'll take us right back to where we were. So some of those guys might follow us. Looks like indeed they will. Fortunately for them, machete chops harder than they hit. No. Don't do that. Stay dead. Plenty of Titanite. Alright, so we're going to try the jump again. There is another way to reach this item, but it involves going through a bunch of stuff to reach a bonfire. And this is kind of the shortcut to that bonfire. So we're going to... There we go. Beautiful that time. So we got our Estus Shard. Um, just run straight through. Lots of little uh, lava blobs that are going to try and fall on your head. Um, and then right here we have our invisible wall. And there's the actual bonfire. So there is another way to reach this bonfire. Um, in the smoldering lake, if you just kind of run out into the middle of the lake, there's an area where you can fall through to the floor. Um, alternatively, I felt like it was a lot easier taking the approach from this way because all you have is that one jump. And then I think it's a lot easier to just kind of go around and knock this area out. Um, so this is the antechamber. We're going to take this left path first just to grab a few things before we wrap this video up. Bunch of guys in here. Did you just kick me? Zalath Pyromancy Tome, Titanite Shard, and one of the fire guys. Stop trying to cast stuff. Just 
get staggered until you're dead. Um, so that tome gives you some really badass pyromancies. Unfortunately, we do not use the pyromancer trainer that we have with it. There's another one we have to get. So we're going to go down uh, this hallway real fast to grab a crystal lizard. And you start hearing stuff. I don't know what it is. Kind of hear it. It's like rumbling. I think it's supposed to be the uh, the worm that's above kind of going around. But I'm not entirely sure. Rest assured, nothing just comes bursting through the floor after you. Uh, it's just worth mentioning. So I know it made me paranoid a few times. And I'm sure a couple other people may notice that and wonder what the hell it is. Make our left. And here we are back at the old antechamber bonfire. Um, so obviously this area is being taken a little... Um, unorthodox, as I mentioned, by killing the boss first, but um, you know, just knocking out the boss and getting the souls, I honestly think the area is a bit more difficult than the boss. So, now that the boss is down, we are going to go through um, all of the antechambers here, and then reach the ballista, and then eventually the loot that's down in the smoldering lake. So, thanks for coming on by, and we will catch you guys next time with more Dark Souls 3.